Yo, my people, them CFC Riddis Blue back with another video, and this the match preview for the Chelsea vs Blackburn game in the Carabao Cup round of 16 tomorrow. Kickoff is at 7 45, but there will not be a watch along as I'm going to the game, so look out for the match review and the player ratings video afterwards. But if you guys think we're gonna win, hit the like button, let me know your score predictions in the comment section below. As well as that, turn on the notification bell, hit the subscribe button, make sure you don't miss any new Chelsea videos from me. But yeah, man, as you guys already know, we're going to go through team news slash injury updates. We're going to go through also some match facts slash stats for the game, my preferred XI, as well as my score prediction. So let's get into it and let me know your score predictions down below. So for the team news, Hey man, Romeo Latvia is out, just like Karni Shakui Mako, just like Ben Chilwell, just like Armando Brojo, Trevor Chalobo, Christopher Nkunku, and Mikhailo Mudrik. These are all the players that will be missing tomorrow and won't be participating. But Poch did say in the press conference that um, Mikhailo Mudrik, he could be ready for the game against Tottenham this Monday, so... You're going to be assessing him to see how well he's doing if he can take part against Tottenham. But he did mention that this game comes too soon for him. As well as Christopher Nkunku. There's people asking about Nkunku, but this game is way, way too early for him. I don't expect him to be ready for like another three to four weeks. But yeah, man. Ooh, that's the team news. But also, Rhys James is going to start. Poch did confirm that Rhys will start. The game against Blackburn, which is exciting. This is his first start for us since the Liverpool match at the start of the season. So to have him back in the squad tomorrow is going to be brilliant. And as long as he doesn't come up with an injury, he will be starting against Tottenham. And we would assume so. So, yeah, man, that's the good news on Reese James and the team news slash injury news. You guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Do you think Reese should start? Well, he is going to start, but do you think he should be? You should be resting, play someone like Malo Gusto, and also your thoughts and opinions on Mikhailo Modric and Christopher Nkunku. Let me know down below. But yeah, now we're going to go into the match facts slash that. So I'm going to tell you guys the match facts slash stats for this game. And the host Chelsea come into the game off the back of a 2-0 defeat to Brentford on the weekend. And we will, we will be looking to bounce back. Chelsea beat Brighton 1-0 in their previous round with a Nicholas Jackson goal just after half-time. The difference between the two sides, even though he had a goal ruled out for offside, which shouldn't have been offside, by the way. Blackburn were also beaten in their most recent out in losing to Swansea 1-0 at the weekend. The away side, Blackburn have enjoyed their time in the EFL Cup with a total of 17 goals scored in their opening three games. They won 4-3 against Warsaw, 8-0 against Harrogate Town and secured their round of 16 plays by beating Cardiff 5-2. Blackburn Rovers have won just one of their previous 15 matches against Chelsea with 12 losses. However, they were victorious when these sides last met in the League Cup back in 2009. And boy, we don't want to know any repeats of that. Like, realistically, Blackburn... They are um, a decent team, but they're not in the Premier League. This is a team that we should comfortably beat. And from when we've beaten Brighton, who are better than them, I expect us to do so, especially with the return of Reese James into this team. Blackburn are a side that I believe in that the last six games have lost three, while we in our last six games have only lost once. Or wait, my bad, we've lost twice, but we've won three times and drawn once as well. So we have a more positive record than Blackburn. These are the games that we should be winning. We should literally wrap up this match and go in to the quarterfinals of the Car of the Carabao Cup. But we're gonna have to wait and see in it. But yeah, man. That's literally the match facts and stats. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions. And yeah, now I'm gonna give you guys my preferred. Excited for the game. Yo, my people. So this is my preferred excite for the Chelsea and Blackburn game. 
I'm going to put Robert Sanchez in goal. I know there's some people out there that would want us to not play him. Start Petrovic. I need, I need a certain part of the team to be stable. And defensively, I don't feel like we've been that bad. So Sanchez, you can stay in goal. Right back, Reese James, because we already know he's going to start anyway. Center backs, going to put Axel de Sassi, as well as Levi Kowal. Then left back, I want us to play Mark Kukurel. Then CDMs, I'm going to go with Leslie Ugochuku and then Moises Caicedo. On the left, I want us to play Raheem Sterling because he needs to be in fine form, better form by the time we play Tottenham because he will most likely play against Tottenham. So yeah, on the left, Raheem Sterling. On the right, Noni Madweki because I des because he deserves more game time in my opinion. And then also in Cam, I'm gonna put Conor Gallagher. And then up top, I want us to play Cole Palmer. I don't want to necessarily play Nicholas Jackson because I feel like our best performance so far recently was against Arsenal and he weren't even in the lineup. I feel like him coming off the bench could help us a lot more, add energy and so on. But yeah, man, that is my preferred XI. Robert Sanchez, Reese James, Nick, I mean, Axel de Sassi, Levi Kowal, Mark Kukurel, Leslie Gutruku, Moises Caicedo. On the left, Raheem Sterling. On the right, Noni Madweki. In Cam, Cole Palmer. No, in Cam, Conor Gallagher. Up top, Cole Palmer. That is my preferred XI for the game tomorrow. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And now, this is my score prediction for the game. I'm going to go for a 2-0 Chelsea win. I expect us to score a couple of goals. If we score more than two, then that will be brilliant. But we need to be keeping a clean sheet. I don't want Blackburn scoring first or scoring at all. Because this is a team that we should be dealing with. And we should be making easy work of this to go into the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup because this is Chelsea and we need to go further and further in these competitions so we can at least win a trophy. We need to win something this season, in my opinion. But yeah, man, that is my score prediction 2-0. You guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below and yeah, man, there won't be a watch long tomorrow, but check out the match review and the player ratings. But you guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Catch you in a bit. I'm CFC Riddus Blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.